True crop, true crop. Looks like a smirk. He probably got blinded. Got an arm? Yes. It's still got skin on I it. I missed it. I hate to be indelicate, but uh, we got a call yesterday afternoon. They had found an arm and a leg. Okay. And then about an hour and a half ago, we got a phone call from some deer hunters north of town, and they found two heads. When the Yavapai County Sheriff's so no Office head. received a call about what appeared to be a human arm found in the woods, they had no idea that this was only the beginning of the gruesome discoveries. As more and more body parts turn up, it is authorities a can't theory. help but wonder oh, if they've stumbled upon a serial killer's dumping grounds, or if there's something else just as sinister at play. No they found a total of nine legs and several arms. On December 26, 2020, we'll more two this. Yavapai County Sheriff's Check deputies by. headed out to the woods south of Prescott. There they met Where's with the, the two people who called authorities Probably after Adam. stumbling upon something disturbing. This right here? This is crazy. Is it, is it in a bag or what is it? No, it's laying right there. Okay. So look at we're we're just gonna walk along this fence line just to this tree. Okay. It's right below. Did you touch anything? Oh no, hell no. How close did you get to it? Uh probably eight or nine feet. Okay. So stop wherever you stopped right, before, okay? The truck right here. Okay. Back, back the truck. Get myself out, oh, my guy. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. That's crazy. Yep, it is. You got crunching tape. Oh, I got it. Okay. Right, well, Let's go gonna... back to the car, you guys. Stay there. He's going to get a witness statement from you. All right. Were the fingernails polished? Did it look like a female's hand? I didn't look that close. We're not, we're, we're not gonna get too close right now. I'm just gonna get Mike and CI started. You need to call out CI. That's wild. Um, Imagine going to cut out a tree and find a human arm. Uh, in my opinion, yes. It's, uh, I don't know if it's male or female or what, but it's definitely confirmed. Dang. We got about 10 feet away from it because we don't want to disturb any footprints or anything and we're going to be putting up crime scene tape. Um, I believe it's a leg. The officers then begin marking Jeez. off the area. It's while setting up a designated uh, well, crime scene that the deputies uh, noticed... 10 codes are really fun to off. learn. When I was in police academy, I learned 10 codes like, you know, 10-4, 10-9, 10, 10, 10 11. They all have different 10 codes. Odd about the arm. Little did they know, Dang. this was actually an important clue I'm pretty about sure how exactly coat started the during came to be in the Vietnam. woods. There's like toilet some, paper on know, that arm. Yeah, too. Did you only see an arm or did you see something else? No, Just no. that one? Okay. Yeah, All right. And then, then I told him about seeing a string of toilet paper on the road. Okay. The officer then gets statements from the witnesses who found the extremity. Like and they immediately uh, share sorry. information about something mean? else suspicious that they saw earlier. What's the there joke? was somebody that was heading up here when we were up here. And it's like he stopped because he saw our truck and then he backed out slowly. And I the walked down no. there to see if I could like see. Like you're saying you're a 10 out of 10? What car it was. Because it sounded like it was still well, like 4'10. Right yeah, it stopped. But because it was 4'10. You know, and I thought it was odd, but there is a lot of prints around here. So you guys didn't. So you guys have been up here twice now. He has. Yeah. I've been up here twice now. Despite the gruesome discovery, the tone remains light. The way this works is, is I need all your most current information yeah, here. Okay. 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 Um, I'm not saying it's a murder. I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Um, bodies usually don't <laughs> yeah, stay. I'm not saying what happens. We probably are going to end up calling Why are they laughing? Man, out. fuck. 420. It's sober summer. Gotta show that it's drug talk. Arm. I think Kenzie. it might be an adult. Yeah. Yeah. While continuing to tape off the area to prevent contamination, one of the deputies offers some speculation about the arm. Yeah. Somebody that was camping. And the bear got him. Is there are bear up here. The bear wouldn't leave the arm. And, and they take the other arm. If it was full, it might. It would come back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Is there anything back in there? He said there was more toilet paper this way, didn't he? Yeah. That's the thing, though. There's toilet paper on the arm. That's freaking weird. All right, here, I'll go put it by the arm. No, this is about... That's as far as we're going, right there's that blue thing. 
Damn. What else would it be? Does it yeah, the bird like married him. Like it was chewed on or anything? Well, he says fresh. What are those gunshots? Because now I can actually really kind of see the hand. Yeah, it's weird that there's toilet paper on it. Yeah. And it well, especially on the back end right there where you see that dryer sheet. Yeah. Or whatever that is back there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if somebody tried to cover it up. Well, I don't know. I mean, or wrap it. Looks like a dryer sheet. Yeah, oh, that part back yeah, there. Yeah, the, the part right there in the back of it. Looks like, like the stuff some other dryer sheets are made out of, but like on a roll. I mean, there's more of it over there. Yeah. Now let's just right. go this way. Another officer arrives soon after, and understandably, they can't believe what they're seeing. Now that I've looked at it, it is old, er, but it's still got skin on it. And it's weird, like they try to wrap the back of it with like some kind of dryer sheet dryer or fabric or and the fingers are all purple i got pictures too um i can't Is get that an arm yes it's the right arm he came he backed his truck right up in here and he was getting ready to cut this tree and they saw that and they got out of here so they saw something else back in here but i'm not going back in there to mess anything up as it would turn out the tree cutters were right and there was more than one gruesome discovery still hidden in the woods. Hopefully it's the other the arm. Very next day, the Yavapai County Sheriff's They should put out, they should be like, in the news, is anyone missing an arm? We found it. Come to the sheriff's station, get your arm. And another call, this time from two hunters. Cutting they trees. No, the hunters are different. They, they were cutting down a dead tree to sell firewood, and these are the hunters who found... Something shocking. A deputy meets up with the hunters and has led to another chilling discovery. Down in there? Yeah, this is the hunters the right here. here. Looked as lazy as whoever this was. I think they kind of threw some dirt and rocks and shit over right. in, the, in the ditch here. That's kind of where we had stopped and ate lunch. And I crossed this and I thought, ah, oh, this is somebody dumping trash because there's everywhere. Right. But then I walked across this up the hill right here. So that and that. Okay. It's like when you're walking up the stairs, frog. Disturbingly, you know I mean? the hunters had found two finding seven stuff. heads. Then whatever two? else we haven't seen, in it, that, that's what we found. There's two coyotes. bodies? All right. Well, with the coyotes and all that, who knows what could have been here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to call into uh, Scott Poppenberger right now just to let their uh, carnivore attack team uh -huh. know. Just in case this being out here is put something in the air to call them out and caused any issues. No, it runs. Like when you walk up the stairs late at night or like close your eyes in the Despite shower. The earlier speculation about you know I mean? a bear being responsible for the body parts and now possibly a coyote or mountain lion, the truth would turn out to be even more bizarre. Well, when I tell these guys that I know that work for the sheriff's department, the police department, there's things you guys see that I don't want to know. This, this is, is one of them. Yeah, right here. This, this is it. This is one of the things I don't need to know about. <laughs> While conducting searches of both areas, that. police uncovered a series of strange clues. One of these clues led Lieutenant Bolts to making phone calls to try and trace the origin of the human remains. The first call he made was to a research company. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Well, we're a little perplexed right now. I'm a little perplexed by the message I read. I don't know if it's right. I sounds like it is. Um, so we got a call yesterday afternoon from some folks who were out cutting wood, firewood. Oh yeah, Kenzie. They Happy birthday. They found an arm and a leg, uh, and the location's about 20, 30 miles south of Prescott. So we went out Prescott? there thinking that we Not had a Prescott. homicide, and our criminal investigative division came out, and they searched the area. They found a total of nine legs and several arms, and then some other parts they think might be else. Nine fucking legs? Elbows what the other fuck? Parts. Caitlin, how have you been? Where have you been? What the? Parts, they're not sure. Each I just of those accent, Kenzie. body parts had a tag on it. Uh, they've all been collected and taken to our medical examiner's office, and we were planning on working on this on Monday. But about two, just two and a half hours ago, we got a phone call twins. from some deer hunters about 50 miles away as the crow flies said they found two skulls on the ground. The common thread between the two is that the the 
parts that we found yesterday and the skulls today, both of them, all of them have been wrapped in this blue and white, like surgical paper. We are all but certain that these are related. We're just trying to find out where they came from. Once you said it and we walked back, this is like that medical, right? Whatever. Waste bags and. Yeah, it's that just one. somebody being a, a jerk. Lazy and, and a jerk. Yeah. I mean, Damn. There's probably more. Or ways to do this. There's probably yeah. more. Ethical ways. Yeah, yeah this is just. I think are buried. If we could call you guys and find out who these people are and where they came from. Um, cause obviously we can't have people just dumping. Right. Along with blue and white surgical paper, many of the dismembered limbs had metal tags and officers also found a plastic bag with the name future Gen X on it. They have, they have some kind of tag on them. It's a whole body donation. So we do tag everything that we, you know, that we have. Why? coming up with a dead end, Lieutenant Boats called someone else to try and trace future Gen X. Is I need to talk to somebody who can give me information on your willed cadaver program for a law enforcement. Oh my activity. God. Yes, this is April. I can help you. April. Um, so I hate to be indelicate, but, uh, we got a call yesterday afternoon from some folks out cutting wood south of Prescott that they had found an arm and a leg. Do you guys use medical ID tags on the appendages? We do not. Sounds like we can Damn. rule you guys out for help then. Rather than body parts. Have you been killed? Anything new killer, going on? The limbs appear to belong to cadavers donated for medical research. But a question remained. How exactly had they ended up strewn around the woods in Arizona? Still determined to find the source of the body parts, the lieutenant tried another contact. We don't tag uh, legs and arms. We do ear tags. And our bodies are never separated. They're always whole bodies. Okay. Authorities were eventually able to trace future Gen X to a Seattle address and the company's owner, Walter Harold Mitchell. Police tracked Walter to his apartment in Scottsdale, December 29th, what 2020, the fuck? three days after the first of the body parts were found. Hey, Walter. How's it going? I'm Detective Smith. This is Detective Franklin. We're from Yavapai County Sheriff's Office. Don't we talk to you for a minute? Sure. Walter agrees, but detectives immediately notice something peculiar that he's carrying. You mind if we carry the rock? I just don't like you having a rock in your hand while you're walking with us. Do you have any weapons or anything a on rock. you? Uh, on your person? On my person, no. There's a very good reason, Walter. A rock is definitely a dangerous weapon. Have you guys ever played Rust? We find out. You used to own a company called Future Gen X? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're here to talk about. Okay. Have you been um, following the news at all lately? No, I have not. Okay. All right. How many bodies did you bring with you from you left Washington? Bodies? Oh, cadavers. Yeah, what you Whatever. Body parts. You know what? Come on, guys. This is an interrogation. We came to talk to you. Yeah, that's that's an interrogation. You can call it what you want, but we just came to talk to you so we can get to the bottom of what's going on. Okay. It's only interrogation you know if you think you did something wrong. My lawyer. Okay. Um, what? I, I don't get it. all over our county. Okay. And have your, your company's name on them. And we're trying to figure out. Bullshit. Bullshit. Not bullshit. Why would I drive all the way down here? That's a good question. But I'm done. Okay. Damn. Right. Well, turn around and put your hands behind your back then. Is he lying? I don't want to talk. Police read him his rights and found a spare apartment key on his keychain. According to news sources, it was there that they discovered a cylindrical object about eight inches long with a few sticking out of one end. With the concerning discovery of what appeared to be a pipe bomb, police cleared the area what the and called fuck? a bomb squad to remove the device. What up, Tristan? Device. This is crazy. According to Trooper Poole, I heard my name. the pipe bomb was real. Is there anything new going on, flammable Caitlin? powder inside. Following his arrest, Walter told a bizarre story. 
even arguing with investigators about the details of his case during a free talk agreement. What we're looking for here mostly is to try to identify um, the remains in this case so that we can try to do the right thing and get those back to their families if that's something that needs to take place. Walter was known as a body broker providing donated bodies to be sold for medical education and research. Damn. He closed his business in April 2020, but none of this explained how the cadavers ended up in Arizona. When Walter was read a list of all the recovered body parts, his response to this number was unexpected, to say the least. This is not correct. Uh, I know the number was 53. 53 was the total, but minus five heads. So, uh, 48. 48. 48. Yeah, because I know what the total number Damn, he was so cold about it. Walter took the donor's body parts in a U-Haul truck and packed them in dry ice when he moved to Arizona. After this, he kept them in a freezer in a shed north of Prescott. He only dumped the body parts in late November 2020 yeah. and later sold the freezer. We all want to know why. Damn, I he's fucking just like, all right, I got to sell this freezer. I'm just going to dump these human remains out in the woods. That we have some ideas Which why. Which were the day, Tristan. Um, you know, we, we heard a lot of things about your finances. So the why is not financial, never has been. I, uh, you know, there are times in my life where I was motivated by finances, but this was not one of them, okay? The reason is because my industry, over the entire industry, uh, is unsafe, very unsafe. And I've been a failed whistleblower since 2002. After a thorough search of both areas was conducted, police discovered that most of the human remains appeared to be female, and some were tied together with twine. He was definitely doing some weird I shit with it. I would have dug someplace in my land or taken it someplace that had done something completely different. That's crazy, Chuck. And, because I wasn't getting a platform. And so, that's the why. I hope that answers your question. Walter claimed he wanted Damn. to be a whistleblower about what he thought was improper blood testing in his He's industry. cold. The body is a perfect um, ecosystem for transmitting diseases. So when you have um, 30,000 bodies a year going to private organizations and they're dissecting 30, 150 to 200,000. Are you guys, are you guys donating your body or an organ donator or not? Chuck? Going around the world. And they're not screening properly. And they're You're not. You're good, Amelia. I'm glad you're working um, hard, making some monies. Blood testing properly. Up off, girl. And I wrote a very detailed article. Uh, I, I don't know if you've been given that article, but I'll show you where you can get access to it because it's on a LinkedIn site. Damn, he's plugging his book right now. Where I I show and have shown over That's the years crazy. that the players <laughs> have been doing incorrectly. Walter also wrote a fictional book called Serial Killer. Eerily, the book description reads as follows. A killer that has inner working knowledge of law enforcement, medical anatomy, and funeral protocols that ensures crazy. His success. The satisfaction he gains comes not just from the killing, but in using others to take care of disposing of the bodies after he is finished. While Walter was adamant that the body parts came from six people, DNA testing what up, Lonnie? The crime lab came back and said, is that they can definitively say that there are nine individuals. Hmm. Not many, my bro, Connor, you're gonna live a long, okay. happy life. You're just getting started. I, getting there started. Could be, there could be, there could be tissue, and it would be the hips. But we only found one hip, one left hip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's got there's there's got to be more out there. I have. Five skulls, two right, I have two right arms plus shoulders, two right arms, one right shoulder, three left arms plus shoulders, one left arm, Damn. one left shoulder, Hell of body parts. three right legs, two right knees, one right foot, one left hip, four left legs, one left knee, and two left feet. Investigators found a total of 20 body parts. You're saying there's more out there. Where did you bury it? Did you put it in a different no. location than the other stuff? It's in that vicinity, uh, very close. I'm literally living, especially compared to these people. I'm gonna tell you flat out, it was worth it because um, 
after 30 years, I want to walk away saying I did something good for my industry and for humanity. And as silly as that sounds, I'm the moral compass in my industry, and I have been. The moral Robert compass Mitchell in his industry? Felony That's crazy, Jet. Or abandoning a dead body. I'm the moral compass in Twitch streaming. Two and a half year prison terms for 24 counts and a concurrent but consecutive 3.75 year crud, term for the crud. other five counts. Damn. 6.25 years. He will be credited with 671 days served since his arrest. Yikes. With the time he already he, served. He, he owned a company that... What does it even mean? He owned a company that would take in, like, so say your grandpa died and he was an organ donor. He was a company that would distribute the body parts and stuff for research, blah, blah, blah. And his company went out of business and he wanted to get rid of all the body parts because, you know, he wanted to sell the cool everything. So he just went and dumped them out in the desert. That's crazy. Walter will spend just over four more years behind bars. Wow, he only 